hi hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm sorry if this is your first video watching of mine and this is what you get but my name is jess this is nigel if you're not new here you know that this must be a reading vlog because i look like shit it is <laughs> um straight up to be honest i'm on my period my cramps are raging but i need to get this reading vlog started at least select the books that i'm going to be reading so you probably already see the title but um so i had my patrons vote on a video idea and this one is that i am going to read some of the uh, lowest rated books on my goodreads tbr because all of the books that i physically own aren't necessarily on my goodreads tbr but anyway i you're on my phone so i pulled up goodreads on my ipad so i am going to change it by reading and get the lowest rated ones um so i did show them a screenshot of the lowest rated ones i had in here and i'm gonna take i think okay i got five and i'm going to write them on a little slip of paper and i'm gonna put it in my mug and then i'm gonna draw out two at least i think that's more manageable to try to do two for this vlog and see what i come out with so i have at the lowest, wow. The lowest one I have is Witches Steep in Gold by Shannon Smart, which, oh my God, this cover is so beautiful. And I remember seeing a lot about it before it came out and then I didn't hear a lot after it came out. But it has a 3.26. How many ratings does it have? Um, It has 3,688 ratings and it has a 3.26, which is pretty low. I haven't heard much about it, so I don't I don't know. Then I have a Deadly Inside Scoop by Abby Collette. This is a cozy mystery, I believe, that is around um about an ice cream shop, which I love ice cream. So this one I said has a 3.31. It has 2,350 ratings. And wait. Is she black? I don't like all these black books being at the bottom what's going on because this next one's by a black author too a low country bride hmm, i don't like this this one has 11 so 1107 ratings it has a 3.37 and as you'll see i'll put the image of the book here low country bride set in charleston i grew up around charleston live in charleston and this is by Preslea press lisa williams sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong so very, I, I thought Ashley, I feel like Ashley read that one and really liked it. So I'm upset that all of these are the ones at the bottom. And then I have How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao, which is a 3.4. It has 2,464 ratings. This one I think is like a dark, supposed to be like a dark academia. It's supposed to be like at a boarding school. So that's, wow, I'm very upset. And then the last one I have is All Stirred Up by Brianne Moore. And this is, I think, a baking or a cooking romance set in Edinburgh. And this has 3.45 and 828 ratings. So, wow. I've got two romances, a cozy mystery, a YA mystery, and a YA fantasy. Very interesting. So, I am going to go ahead and write those down and put them on a little mug and then I'll tell you what I am choosing and uh, get you reading. Just doing that made me tired, y'all. This is gonna, yeah. it's, so, it's so rude that we have to suffer like this. Like you can't find out no other way to let me know I'm pregnant. It's just ass. I would like my utes removed, please. Take my utes. Okay, all five are in. Which one? Which one? Choose one. Which one? He said this one. This one. Okay, sit down. What did he choose for us? Move, fool. What does that say? A low country bride. Okay, so we got a low country bride. I'm gonna put this one back in here. And shake, 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 shake. Which one? 
Boo Boo, right here. Which one? You got shoes. Hey, look. Which one? Which one? He chose this one again. Okay, let's see. This one. Which is steeped in gold. All right, so we're going to be reading Which is Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart and A Low Country Bride. I was hoping that he was going to choose a deadly inside scoop. Gosh. All right, so let's see if Kendall has um, A Low Country Bride. Bumbara. No. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get it from Malabri. A low con or just low country bride, I guess. Gosh. Ooh, look at that. Available. Bam. Perf. Ebook. I guess I could get the audio, but I feel like I should read the ebook. Mmm. Cool. All right. Well. Back to Kindle Unlimited. Let's see if I doubt it's on here, but which is steeped in gold. Don't know why I'm singing. Okay, not on here. Let's go to the library. And which is steeped in gold. Well, look at that. It was meant to be. Wow easily available well i guess i will be uh reading these over the next few days and i will get back to y'all and let you know how it's going okay y'all <laughs> i'm sorry you're getting these angles but i just looked on kindle and the the romance is like 350 pages and it's a romance so i'm sure it's not gonna take long but which is deep in gold is 544 pages. I hope those are short pages with big words. Obviously, I'm reading the ebook, but I'm like, ugh, 500 pages? <sighs> Absurd. I think I'm going to start with a low country bride. I need to go to the store, but like, I need this bout of cramps to pass. And I've already taken my Midol, but it, I'm still. <laughs> So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna read a little bit of Low Country Bride and see what's poppin' while me and Nigel enjoy our snuggle time and then I'll get up. Oh. And then I'll get up and go to the store. Okay, bye. still looking like this um i am about to go to the store though so i do have to go get dressed so two things andrew has been out of the country for work and he's feeling really sick he wasn't able to get a covid test before he left so i'm hoping he can get one when he lands he's supposed to land tonight so i'm worried we don't know if it's that or he's just sick obviously we're vaccinated and boosted and flu shots but i'm worried so anyway he said his throat feels really terrible so I'm gonna make some soup, so I'm gonna get stuff for soup at the store. And then also this week, I want to bake, um, I made this a while ago and I haven't made it again. So this is the new way to cake. And this is by Benjamina, who was in the Great British Break Off. She was one of my favorites. So I made sure to get her, one of her cookbooks. Um, and so it was like this sweet potato loaf. And I don't, yeah, I can probably just do it as a loaf again. I was gonna say, maybe I'll do it as like cupcakes. But like, just think like banana bread or pumpkin bread, but it's like sweet potato bread, but she called it a sweet potato loaf. So I've read like 20, I was like 19% of the book. Off to a good start, you know, romance, easy to read, nothing too like, you know, out of the normal, out of the usual, outside of the usual with romance. So she starts in New York City. She designs bridal gowns which i think is really cool fun fact a while ago i used to be like years ago I used to be obsessed with like 
weddings. I mean, I know a lot of women had their Pinterest board for their weddings. I did, and I used to watch Say Yes to the Dress all the time, and I had all these grand dreams until I realized I would have to pay for that. So then I was like, never mind. But she's a bridal dress designer trying to get promoted, and her father, who lives in Charleston, um, fell, broke his hip, so she's going home for a while to help take care of him. Still working on her bridal stuff. And then I think who the hero is gonna be. Um, we got the POV of him. He works at a bridal shop in Charleston and his mother has passed away and he is trying to basically save her legacy, but she left behind a lot of debt and the business isn't doing well. And so he is trying to save the store. And so that's basically as much as I've got. Her mother also passed away and her father is um, dating someone new. And she also works at the boutique with the guy in Charleston. And then there is just a warning that the who I think is the hero lost his wife in a mass shooting and she is they she named a different church but basically we're referring to the church the AME church where this happened in Charleston I can't think of the name right now I know that's bad I didn't go to the church but I know of the church um so that's how he lost his wife he has a 12 year old daughter that's what we know so far so quick um got through 20 percent pretty quickly and then I was taking a nap because my cramps and Nigel was acting a fool. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the store, get these ingredients, and then come back. I gotta, I don't know what time he gets in. He had to take that. Usually they don't, they fly, you know, with like Air Force pilots, but they had to fly commercially to get back. So I think he gets back later today. So. <sighs> mm. All right. I rarely leave the house on a Sunday. Hmm. It's very annoying because it's like not hot, but it's like warm enough that I need to like put the air on and I'm like sweating. Anyway, this is what happens if I go to the store, crampy, hormonal. Okay, this may be old lady behavior and as convenient as Bluetooth is, sometimes it gets on my goddamn nerves because it always connects when I don't want it to connect, but then when I want it to connect, it don't connect. Anyway, like I said, I'm cramping, I'm hormonal, I'm out here. I got stuff to make soup and cake and I, oh my God, sometimes I just get frustrated. Okay, look, I get frustrated about the simplest things. One, I'm wearing this black shirt, but I also have on black leggings and I have on black shoes. They're all different shades of black. And like when I left out, I didn't care, but now I feel like shit. And, <laughs> and I look like shit, I feel like shit. So anyway, I got nachos from Taco Bell. And by nachos, I just mean chips and cheese because that's what I like. And I got two lemon frosted donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. And I also got a Pepsi and a fucking ice latte. That's right, bitch. I don't care, okay? I have to suffer. My uterine lining, my wall, it's shedding. I'm dying. Where are my scraws? And they're plastic. I don't care. I left my reusable ones at home. Call the gas and oil companies. Don't call me. Don't fight with me. I know I, okay. Okay, I do my part as much as I can, but you know, I'm not Exxon, okay? Please, it's not me. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh God, period suck. I know Nigel is mad because it's his lunchtime. So I'm gonna head home, be the baby. Ooh. Ooh. Feed the baby, feed myself. <sighs> and then I'll probably start the sweet potato loaf and I'll then I'll do the soup and you'll see all that. Also, I downloaded the audio for a low country bride just because I was like, oh, I'm driving, I'll be at the store, might as well listen to it. Mm, it's terrible. I don't know why some narrators, when they do Southern people, they have to make them like, not all Southern people have super strong Southern accents or sound, even if they do, they don't all sound the same. So like the voice for her was fine, but then the voice for her father was like, why don't you show one of the real dresses you got? And I'm like, every black man in the South does not sound like that. Or I just, mm. so no, I'm just gonna have to read it with my eyeballs. So let me get my raggedy self home so only Nigel has to look at me and y'all and uh, I'll check back in. Sorry, oof, I was gonna say, sorry it's dark, but the flash came out. Baby has had lunch, so we're gonna go on a little walk, a little poop walk. Let's see if he does a cute thing where he opens the door. Ooh -hoo -hoo. There's a grumpy baby, and I can finally eat my nachos. Y'all can, look at, you just ate. 
Y'all can judge me all you want. I don't care. I love me some nacho cheese that's probably a couple ingredients shy of plastic, okay? When we lived in Washington, our little town, um, there were two gas stations. And there was one that was the closer one to my house that was nicer. And I, if you don't get, boy! And I used to love getting me some gas station nachos, child. Okay, I gotta, I gotta tame this demon. Okay, I am, for now, Nigel is over there. Don't mind my couch. I just put the, the throw blankets in the wash, okay? Try to freshen it up before Ben gets back. Anyway, per usual, I was listening to Adele on my way home. And really, whew, I mean, they were hitting before, but hold on, really hit me this drive because I've been struggling and so anyway I'm not gonna sing it to you but I'm just gonna read you some of these lyrics um one is <sighs> I am so tired of battling with myself with no chance to win <laughs> every Adele album has met me at the right moment in my life Everyone, mm. I'm good. The next one, I swear to God, I am such a mess. It's me. The harder that I try, I regress. I'm my own worst enemy. Right now, I truly hate being me. Like, is it me writing this song? Every day feels like the road I'm on might just open up and swallow me whole. How do I feel so mighty small when I'm struggling to feel at all? <laughs> wow. Wow. Anyway, obviously I usually try to share how I feel or you know how I'm feeling mentally and stuff. So I just want everyone to know that I'm there. I'm there with you. And it's very hard to sometimes hold on that things will get better. Obviously, this is a song. I am a person talking to you. There are varying levels of depression, like all of that. But I just hope y'all know you're not alone. And I, it is, you know, I'm doing my best to be able to like get content out and stuff. But ooh, sometimes, sometimes, Lord. And it also helps me, like I know a lot of people like take take time to yourself and but the more time I have to myself, the more <laughs> these thoughts. So doing stuff to keep me busy is good because then my brain doesn't have as much time to think about thoughts, but they creep in. And I just had moments where I'm like, oh literally, like it just feels like the road I'm on will open up and swallow me whole. But really, I'm my own worst enemy. And I I personally am gr and great am grateful. Like I don't have a therapist, but I do have my medication, so I'm not having like any like, you know, suicidal ideations or anything. I just don't want to be me. So right now, I just hate being me, and my right now has been years. I just am like I don't want to not be alive. I just wish I was a different person alive. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna eat my my chips and cheese and. I should read, but I'll probably scroll on TikTok for a little boost of serotonin or something. Okay, thanks for listening. Okay, nothing is ex nothing in my house is aesthetic. So this is what it looks like. But anyway, I put them in some water with just some vinegar to wash them off, even though I'm going to peel them, like I'm not gonna use the skin. So I'm just gonna rinse them off. And then I'm gonna cut them in half and put them on the parchment like I'm not seasoning them or anything because oh did I say this is for the sweet potato loaf so I'm just doing this because you have to have cooked sweet potato and I didn't want to buy the canned sweet potato so wow again nothing aesthetic here this is the best lighting we've had so far today so it's like 345 something 345 I don't know sweet potatoes are in the oven they still have a little bit to go before they'll be done so i was like man today i was like i'm gonna film three videos and i'm gonna mm -mm. this is the only thing i'm filming because it's going along with what i'm already doing my cra <laughs> my crabs are killing me 
I did throw, like I said, the couch blankets and stuff in the washing machine. So I'm just gonna put another blanket on the couch and I'm gonna go lay down. I'm gonna put my two lemon frosted donuts in the microwave. I'm gonna get my coffee out of the fridge and I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna eat and drink that while I continue to read Low Country Pride and maybe snuggle with Nigel if he will have some common sense and just lay the fuck down because I just don't, I just don't have, I don't have the energy to play today, Nigel, like play with yourself or you need to lay down. <laughs> I don't know if every Duncan be doing this, but I be like, I don't need these on the top of my damn donut. And so I feel wasteful, but like, ew, I don't want that. <laughs> fuck out of here. I usually do about 30 seconds. They are done um, real soft. So I'm gonna let them cool off and then uh, come back and make the, the, the loaf, the bread, whatever. Hey, all right, we're in the kitchen, terrible lighting. You're just gonna have to deal. I got my recipe book because my sweet potatoes are done. So I do have to peel those, but I'm gonna do the flour mix first, and then I'll do that. So there'll be cute music and stuff, and yeah, here we go. So I put in ro dry rotini pasta and I added hot water, some more salt, pepper, always more pepper. And so I'm just gonna let that simmer and should be ready, I don't know, 20-ish minutes. She's here, she's beautiful. So this is gonna cool and I will eat it later, yummy. Good morning. If I look exhausted, it's because I am. I did not get a lot of sleep because of Nigel, because he's rude. Andrew is quarantining the master, so I slept in the guest room, and I don't know, Nigel just would like not chill out. And our bed is higher, so he can't jump off, but the guest bed is lower, so he kept like trying to jump off the bed, and I don't know, I didn't get much sleep. It's like eight, seven something, eight, I don't know. 
it's earlier than I normally would be up, but Andrew is hopefully getting a COVID test about nine-ish this morning. So I hope it's negative, but he's been up there since he got back last night in the room. I just took him up some tea and medicine because I'm wonderful. <laughs> but um, I was gonna go to the gym, but for logistical reasons, I'm not, at least not in the morning. So I'm gonna have breakfast and then I need to do the things that I didn't do yesterday because my cramps are so bad. I need to film at least two videos and then I can see what else to do that I can fit in today. I still have cramp cramps. <clears throat> They're just not as bad as yesterday. So I'm gonna make food and then get ready, film two videos and then I'll go from there. Also, where is it? That bread right there, so good. Oh my God, it was so good. Y'all, this is actual footage. This is real life. I'm waiting for my mind all to kick in. <laughs> so I'm laying on the floor. Do you see this basket of laundry? I don't know how long it's been here. I have not put it up. There are fresh clothes behind you on the chair that I have not put up. I just keep picking things out of the basket or off the chair. Nigel, now is not the time. I need a vacuum. I need to clean the bathrooms today. I'm just like, why did these things like I clean them and they get dirty again? I... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't have the energy to get off this floor. I need to get up and film, but so this is just a slice of real life for you. I often am like, ugh. And I've got this drama queen to deal with. Okay, I'm still on the floor, but I've sat up. <sighs> okay, I've modified it. I'm only going to film one video. <laughs> but I still need to get up off the floor and like put something on so I can look presentable. I just like, just, I'm exhausted. I don't even know. I only feel like I only got a couple hours of sleep. So I just need to get up, film this one video. I don't even have to edit it today because I already have a video edited for tomorrow. Excuse me. I just need to caption that video. I already made the thumbnails. I just need to caption it. <sighs> Hello. I've been napping. <laughs> Obviously, Nigel is. I'm, um, I think like 47% through low country bride i'm pretty sure one moment yes 47 percent through. i probably could be finished if i didn't keep going to sleep but like i have not slept good this weekend my couch is comfy nigel is snuggly i'm like got my blankies and also i'm just not loving it here's the thing it's like this could be a really cute story but i don't know um if this is the author's first book or it's just very straightforward, very simple writing, storytelling. Like, so our main character, Maya, she is from Charleston, but wanted to be a dress designer, a bridal dress designer. So she lives in New York City and her mother passed away. Have we figured out when her mom? We her mother passed away like nine years ago but I don't know if we figured out what like why but her dad is um alive in Charleston and he falls and breaks his hip and calls her and she goes home to Charleston for a while to help him you know through the rehabilitation and then there's Derek who's the hero he lost his mother to cancer years back and he lost his wife to a mass shooting at the church oops sorry buki mm. and he has like a 12 year old daughter and so his mother had a bridal dress shop in downtown charleston and um once she was like going through cancer she had to like take out another mortgage on the the business and he, and it was like you know not a lot of black owned businesses left and so he's really trying to keep it open but it's not doing well and he has like a couple months before 
it's going to be foreclosed. So that's the setup. She's a bridal designer or bridal dress designer and he is running a bridal shop even though he really doesn't know that much about it but he wants to keep this his mother's legacy which is very honorable and sweet. My problem is like there's like like you know they are attracted to each other because she tells you they are with like their inner monologue but like they feel so stiff and like it's just very like she walked in oh my goodness am I attracted to her is this the first person I felt this way since my wife yes yes it is just like there aren't like a touch of the hand or a a stare they hold you know there's not like the tension the longing the the pining it's like none of that it's just very much told um in like their inner monologues and a lot it's like repetitive so he's obviously trying to figure out how to earn more money and not spend a lot of money to save the business and so she is here and he just i mean it feels like every other chance he gets he's like i'm on a budget i'm on a budget i'm on a budget i'm on a budget i gotta pay the like we know we know like i don't know also so she is the main character he's black and she is black and i'm pretty sure filipino so she talks about things she learned from her mother and trying to incorporate them into her dresses to like a certain Filipino way of like stitching or a certain like maybe West African design and she works for this big um retailer who I'm assuming is this white lady Laura Whitcomb in New York City and she's trying to make it she's like a junior designer she's trying to make it like get a promotion and this lady she's like always she says in the beginning how her designs and Laura's style rarely work together <clears throat> excuse me because Laura's is just like very straightforward and like simple and she doesn't like when she does different things and like different styles and, and different stitching so I'm like so either why do you keep doing that or like why are you trying to work for her if you know your styles don't align it's very strange I don't know also the apartment thing threw me for a loop of like if you're broke but you're living in a three thousand dollar studio apartment in new york city like i'm sure those exist but also you could find something else that's not that i don't know it's just very it feels like a first book i'm just like it doesn't really flow well like the writing doesn't flow well i wanted to finish this today but i keep going to sleep so maybe I need to get up and get me some sweet potato bread. <laughs> it's so delicious. I wonder how it would taste with... No, I'm not going to do that. Sweet potato bread. I can read some more. So I could just be done. Anyway, that's my update. I'm really not... Besides the brief mentions of like... You have the mention of Battery Park downtown. Um, the course the basket weaving but that's really it like I'm not getting the descriptions and like <sighs> food mentions and like places locations that I would imagine for a book set in Charleston so that's a bummer because I love things set in Charleston because it's such a beautiful city and such great food and I don't know mm. what you think Nigel Nigel's bored too we'll check back in later I guess okay I don't I don't know if you can see me it's starting to get dark outside but I'm reading so they finally are going on a date at god damn it my kindle 57 percent hold on 60 percent they're finally on a date and they're going to this restaurant, which finally is an actual restaurant in Charleston, 82 Queen, which is a nice restaurant. And then they both get there <laughs> and they're like, uh, do you want to go somewhere else? I'm not feeling it. It's too fancy. I'm not hungry anyway. Like, I don't know. What's the point? What was the point? <laughs> they're just, this book is, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. I know consent is great. 
and I appreciate it in a book. But these two are, this, is this like an inspirational Christian romance? Because we're 61%. And he said, is it okay if I pull you close? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's fine. And then she settled fully into his embrace. Is this okay for you? Like, what is this? No, honey. All right, y'all. It's like 12 30, and I am heading to the pet store to get dog food for Nigel and some treats and stuff because um, he's out or about to be out. So I haven't updated you, obviously. I like had breakfast and tea, and um, I studied. So yeah, I gotta go do this and then come back and get my video ready for today but about the palmetto bride lo low country bride i just was so disappointed like i thought it was gonna be really cute like i don't need some steamy sex on page to love a romance i have really enjoyed a lot of christina uh, lauren's recent romances and they don't have they're really fade to black a closed door but this was just like, everyone just felt flat. No one felt really developed. Like it felt long and short at the same time. Like the main character, I felt nothing, no connection to her. Like there were sad things about their lives, but I never really felt connected to them to be like, oh, I'm so sad. Um, the hero, same thing. Like he had sad things and I was like, okay, his daughter even really didn't resonate with me. Um, <sighs> like no one like no one stood out I can't even there was another lady ginger I, it just felt very stale and like I was telling you last night with how the writing just feels choppy it doesn't feel like it flows some of the things like the interaction with the father and daughter felt like I don't know if she like felt too old or I don't the way that she was talking to him I don't feel would be believable I don't it didn't work for me so not connecting to them, then I don't care about their romance, but even their, their romance felt like nothing. I felt like they were just like working side by side for a while. Then we got to 60%, they finally go on a date and they know they're in love. And I'm like, from what? It all was, and then there was this weird plot line that got thrown in with a white woman who came to buy a dress, but that she had found out her great grandmother was black, but was white passing and I don't know. I didn't care. I didn't care about anything. So it's like a, it's a two star. It's really sad. And also set in Charleston, such a beautiful place, the history and the culture and just like the locations and the food. And we got like barely any of that described and like got a few mentions of a couple places, but you know, yeah, not, I don't, I don't recommend, but maybe if you just want like a really simple closed door romance i saw some people's review being like is this like an inspirational christian romance and i don't know if it is but i can see if it is because it's just very very bland so if that's your thing i guess but not for me anywho i'm going to start an audiobook not for this vlog but um uh, a different audio that i just want to read and uh, head to the store and my oh and I have to go to the grocery store on the way back so I'm like tempted to get Taco Bell again I ain't shit I know okay bye
Excuse me. Excuse me. N no. 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 Why are you so great? Why are you like this? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday. I don't know the last time I filmed. I feel like maybe it was Tuesday, maybe. But uh, it is Thursday. Today is my day of my test. It's at 11, it's like eight. It might be nine. So I'm making breakfast and then I'm gonna make all of my beverages. I like to have three. Uh, one for hydration, one for fun, and one for energy. And then I am going to review my last review and then get ready for my test. So, if I last updated you on Tuesday, that's when I finished the Little Country Bride, a Little Country Bride, which I did not like. What have I got to say? I'm going to start Witches Steeped in Gold because I just want to go ahead and read it, see how I feel about it, so I can uh, have this vlog. I would like to finish by the end of this weekend. It is Thursday, so by the end of this weekend, finish, edit, have this up uh, for y'all to see next week. So I don't know. I'm hoping I like Witches Steeped in Gold. I haven't heard good things. I actually haven't heard that many things and then reading through some of the Goodreads reviews. Mm, kind of nervous. It's like 500 or something pages, but I hope it's quick because I don't know how tall the book was and like how big the print was. So hopefully it's like short pages with bigger text so it doesn't take too long. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, you can't wish me luck because by the time you'll see this, I have already taken the test. But anyway, I'm manifesting, but I need to get my energy and get in the zone and then I will let you know how it goes. Okay, the question is, I know that Tabani reads cozy mysteries and the rest of you. You can't see me closely, which is good because I look a mess. So it's like, I would say it's Friday night, but it has crossed into Saturday. It's like 12.30, 12.45, maybe it's one o'clock. I don't know. Anyway, I had a really stressful day today and I thought I was going to get to read. And then I didn't. And um, once I finally got through everything, like today has been a freaking mess. I finally was just like, Bleh, I don't want to read. I'm not watching anything. So I literally just been on my phone scrolling TikTok, Twitter. I looked at some comments briefly. Okay, but so I, you know how I chose which is steeped in gold. So I started it. I've gotten like four or five percent, and I was so confused. So I asked on Twitter if any is if any anyone's read it and like their general feelings. And I get, I have like twenty something responses, and almost every person said they DNF'd it. So tomorrow I'm going to try to read some more of it. I'm going to try to get to at least like 10%, but I'm feeling like I'm going to DNF this one and just choose another book because I have other options for this project because it's like 500 something pages and I'm already just like, what the, what? What are these words? What is happening? Where are we? What is this? Like it, everyone's thoughts on why they DNF'd it or how I feel. And I'm like in the first chapter, second chapter. So mm, I don't know. But yeah, today's just been hectic so we'll see about tomorrow but i'm like 90 percent sure i'm gonna dnf this one and then pick up something else um i think the other ones on my list were pretty short so that would be nice because i would like to finish this out this weekend and have this vlog up for y'all next week but yeah so um i should go to bed but i'm probably gonna get a bowl of ice cream and watch an episode of the expanse look at that bicep Oh God, this man, this man, no. Hello, I was kidding. So it is 7, 12 p.m. And I started um, How We Fall Apart, I think that's what it's called by Katie Zhao, because I didn't feel like starting the audiobook. 
I told myself, I was like, oh, maybe I'll start the audiobook and I'll clean. But after I ate lunch, I, uh, yeah, I had no energy. So I laid down on the couch and started the ebook of how we fall apart and so it's a high it's a high school but like a prestigious like elite high school very private excuse me rich students but of course our pov perspective is mancy and she's a scholarship student sorry and uh so it starts with her at like this assembly and of course there's like the it girl who's like top of the class so she's the smartest she's athletic she does all of these things who you know they seem to nancy wants to be and then things start happening and so i'm like 35 percent into it and i'm enjoying it so far i don't know why this has such a low rating and i also haven't heard that many people talk about it um it is a young adult mystery obviously and yeah the writings i like the writing you know it's it's easy to read and i'm intrigued about what's happening it does remind me of uh ace of spades because there is like stuff happening within the school and then they have this is going to show my age but there used to be like this anonymous app called yik yak i think that's what it was called and people at colleges would use it and just like send out random things like it sounds like twitter but it's like anonymous so they have this kind of app in this story and people like say random stuff and then when th things start happening people are posting like uh accusing things accusing certain students of stuff so it's reminding me of ace of spades because they have somebody who's sending out these texts to everybody but like everybody's on this app so they're looking at certain students um so yeah i like it so far and i probably will read a little bit more tonight and then i it's definitely something i can finish i mean i could finish it tonight unless i get really sleepy or definitely could finish it tomorrow so so far so good i don't know why it has such a low rating you know it still has some time to dive i guess and then i don't know i didn't read any of the reviews on goodreads so we'll see but this one is definitely off to a way better start than which is steeped in gold so anyway i am i need to feed nigel take him on a little walk and then have dinner myself and then i may read some more tonight i don't know if i'll read some more tonight or watch tv we'll see oh excuse me Pardon me for looking like shit. When did, when do I not? So it's Wednesday. The live for Squeakor was this morning. So I went to bed at five. Um, I didn't probably fall asleep till six. And then now it's like 10.45. And I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then I have to go to the store. So we're going to Norway tomorrow. So I need to go get some small things um, for the trip. And so I didn't update y'all and I was just going to read those two books and then I was like this hold came in for the, the deadly scoop of ice cream or whatever and it's not too long so I started yesterday I have the audio which I don't know if it's the best route but it's not terrible so I got through a decent portion of it maybe like 25 30% yesterday where we got to like what's the mystery of the cozy mystery and <clears throat> i'm trying to finish it today and i can edit the vlog and then y'all see it when you see it right so yeah i just wanted to check in and hopefully check in later and can tell you more things when i'm more awake I feel like I both did not get any sleep and also got wasted. I think in total I got like mm, three and a half, maybe four hours, but I feel like I got none. So I'm ready to go home. I got dog food for boo-boo stuff. 
Oh, and I'm going home to take a nap. Honestly, I feel like I feel like if I don't get some more sleep ASAP, I'm gonna die. I'm chill. I have a soda. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. about uh, the country club you're a part of. Uh, Tokyo, actually every country I've ever been to and think about going to, I'm part of the country club. All right, thank you, sir. That was great, goodbye. <laughs> That ambient room is on, and also Nigel is chewing on a toy. So I'm re-recording this part because I, I looked absolutely like dog shit when I recorded the before. I mean, I look terrible now. I just put my hair in my ugly braids, and I'm very glistening because I just did my skincare. But yeah, I was looking wild. So anyway, just a recap of the books that I read or tried to read for this vlog. A Low Country Bride. I gave two stars, very basic, like just the writing, the characters, just very flat, nothing. I felt no tension. I felt I didn't believe in the relationship. I didn't care. Just meh. Um, way too much to like focus, like too much trauma in the story, which I understand that's usually a part of a story, but I'm just like too much. And this one felt like too much. <sighs> Don't recommend, but do what you want. Then I tried to read Which is Steeped in Gold. You saw the responses from Twitter. I was lost, confused, and I was trying to give it to 10% and I just couldn't, I DNF'd it at 5%. I feel bad, but it was just, it's, it's not always that I can DNF something that fast, but like that one just made it obvious and I was like, nope. So didn't read that. Then How how We Fall Apart, that one I gave four stars as a young adult. Is it like a mystery? thriller i don't know i don't know the categorization but it is set at an elite um uh, illegal it's set at a what is the word a prestigious and elite uh high school and i thought it did a really great job talking about um especially first generation student and how hard they work to like prove to their parents and just the the pressure that high school students feel the competition i thought it was fast paced and some people's complaints I saw in reviews were like they didn't feel like it went in depth enough for a young adult novel to me it was fine um I like did I kind of was kind of figuring out what happened yeah but like I still enjoyed the journey to get there so I I mean maybe it's I don't know maybe there are more like two stars that are pulling it down but I I actually that was my favorite one out of everything I read I really enjoyed that one and then an inside scoop, a deadly inside scoop. Did I even rate it? I don't even know. Three stars maybe? Actually, it feels more like a two and a half. Like it was fine. Um, I think also I did myself a disservice by listening to the audiobook because the narrator was fine for like the main character, but for other voices, didn't love it. Like, especially the main character's best friend. She made her sound so young and they're supposed to be like in their mid twenties and she sounded like a child. Um, I love the ice cream parts and like, you know, the family moments because she has taken over her family's ice cream shop. So those little moments, the mystery itself, again, I don't know if this is the audiobook. I felt like she and her friends who are trying to solve this, 
I don't know that happens in a lot of mystery books but I don't know it didn't feel like as organic it just felt really like I watched this on TV let's do this thing does that make sense like I just was like rolling my eyes every time I'm like no nah, y'all would have gotten yourselves hurt or, or caught up in something the way y'all were acting so it was just fine like I know it's supposed to be a cozy mystery so and I, I really haven't read any so I don't know if that's like my expectation was wrong but yeah I don't know if I would continue with these books or if cozy mystery really is my thing I'm definitely not gonna like write off the entire subgenre but it was just okay like when it finally was like revealed who did it I was like I don't feel like you really like set that up in the beginning or gave us any clues so I was like oh you know like I don't know I don't like a whole curveball where there's been like no setup at all so it was fine it was fine so out of this I had one four star one two and a half one two and a DNF um so some of these I feel like are rightfully rated low and one I did not agree with so those are off my TBR now. I am now looking at other ones that are low on my TBR. I'm like, do I really want to read these? I don't know. But I'm glad that I borrowed all of them and didn't buy any of them because I was really tempted to buy Witch's Steven Gold because it's beautiful and I'm glad I didn't. I'm really sad because it's a beautiful cover. I want more black authors to thrive, but I don't, ah, just wasn't for me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, hope if you are, you know, feeling if you're struggling with your mental health, just like, I hope, I don't know, seeing someone else work through it helped or, you know, I hope you have someone to talk to or you have therapists or you have medication or I just hope you're okay. And I know it's hard to be okay in the state of the world now, but give this video a thumbs up, subscribe um, in the link below. I mean, I'll have the books listed if you want to check them out, you know, all, by all means. Um, my social medias are listed below, ways to support my channel, but I think that's all I have for now. So, hope you stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!